simple hit to the head can do serious damage for student or professional athletes. And with schools starting back up and full contact sports like soccer in full force, doctors say they're noticing an increase in patients coming in for potential concussions. I've had two or three and another one could possibly like in my career. For student athletes like junior IUPUI soccer player Bregan Lyon. My mom definitely cringes. Concussions are all too familiar. You're like lightheaded, dizzy, yeah, yeah. nauseous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds bother you, light bothers you. Yeah, he wants to drive. A concussion last season landed her in the hospital. Yeah. Hey, look at that under the care of IU Health Sports Medicine Specialist, Dr. Kimbra Zahn. She gave me like, the imp it's called the impact test. So it's like you give words and then you have to remember them after a certain time, say your months back words. Like just remembering three words was hard. So it was like apple, orange, banana, like, and I couldn't remember them sometimes. So it was scary. <laughs> Dr. Zahn says although there is no specific threshold that can cause a concussion. We do know that the more concussions you get over your lifetime, probably the easier it is to get another one. The longer the symptoms are going to last and maybe the more severe the symptoms are going to be. And it's important for students and parents to know the signs. It's something I need, like my brain, it's very important. So it doesn't lead to long lasting brain damage. I'm not here just for soccer, I'm here for school too. Stephanie Wade, RTV6.